A warm good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. It's a wonderful Sunday again. We are back with uh, the second episode of the International e on Oral Cancer. Today, uh, the, the, this year's theme is Capacity Building for Oral Cancer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to invite uh, Professor Anil Dikru, the chief patron for the event. Uh, sir is, uh, uh, what do I say, there's no words to define it because all of us know who he is. He's currently the president of UICC and also director at Apollo Hospitals. Sir has served as editor of, Man uh, of Manual of Clinical Oncology, has uh, numerous uh, pivotal contributions, which, which is more than 500 plus peer-reviewed publications, more than 1,000 lectures and 100 name orations, plenary lectures and keynote presentations around the globe. And I'm so happy to share that Sir is also a staunch supporter of Icon Care. With this, now invite Sir to give his address. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you, Shrutis. Dignitaries who are part of this program, esteemed faculty, uh, delegates, or if I can say, uh, all, all those attending today's program who are committed to the fight on oral cancer, welcome to the second edition of the International Conclave organized by I Can Care on Oral Cancers. Uh, I'm humbled and I'm honored that you all have called me yet again to grace this lovely program, participate as a faculty, as well as uh, attend uh, the sessions. As has been said by all speakers, we know the that oral cancer is a global problem. Over 300,000 cases globally. Unfortunately, half of them in our parts of the country, two-thirds locally advanced, and over half the mortality globally, uh, again, in our part of the country. What is uh, worrisome is that over 70 to 75% of people who succumb to this disease succumb during the productive years of their life. These deaths are before the age of 70, which is more or less the national average for mortality. Uh, these are people who should be in the prime of their life, contributing to the economy and growth of our country. And unfortunately, they succumb to oral cancer. It's paradoxical. Because again, as uh, Rina and various others said, oral cancer has a well-defined tumor progression model. It takes a long time before it comes into a locally advanced stage. And also that the oral cavity is amenable for examination by one and all, by the patients, by the oral cancer specialists. But again, as Rina said, by dentists, physicians, whatever problem they go for to a doctor, they normally say, Jaban dekhao, put your tongue out, open your mouth. So it's really paradoxical that we find these cancers so late. I want to congratulate the entire team of I Can Care, Pavan, Shruti, Reena, Rishab, Harshita, for this great initiative uh, co-hosted by the Gujarat University and Sterling Hospitals led by Dr. Somesh Chandra and our national body, the FHNO, represented today by Alok, Pratamesh and Arun. I, only if we join hands all together will we be able to tame this king as uh, Pavan uh, uh, calls uh, uh, oral cancer. But uh, to me, we don't have to tame it. I think uh, we have the ingredients to er eradicate this disease from the, the face of our part of the world. Now, the I can care, I'm, I, I'm touched and I, I follow your work. And once again, congratulations. You all have dedicated the initial part of your work to training capacity building, which is great. Uh, I, I gather you all are going to expand into service. And I would urge you all to do something towards research. This is a cancer in our part of the world. Uh, we don't need to read Western literature. There have been a lot of contributions in the re recent past from our part of the world. And I just encourage all the youngsters listening to us today to not only treat, diagnose early, help our patients, but also research and teach the world how we can truly tame this cancer. I end because I speak today both as a UICC president and as someone who has dedicated his life to head and neck cancer. So uh, I have a passion to treat, 
do well for my patients. I also have a passion for cancer control. And it will be incomplete on this address if I don't once again reiterate the importance of tobacco control. And I know many of us who I can see today uh, on the screen do some part of tobacco control. But again, I congratulate, I can care for the efforts on tobacco control. It's something that we can prevent. 42% of our countrymen use tobacco in one form or the other. And I think each one of us should make efforts. World No Tobacco Day is just around the corner, end of May. And I, I think our efforts should be directed towards tobacco control as well. So without, with these few words and without much ado, I hand back to the organization, organizers. Thank you very much for this opportunity to be part of this great initiative. I wish you all great luck, great deliberations, and all the best for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. I think this again inspires a lot and gives us a lot of encouragement, uh, encouragement and enthusiasm to keep going and to keep working and to join hands together to really tame, as you said, to tame the disease rightly and show to the rest of the world that, yes, something is available here as well. 